Hey guys, Moran Pobert here and in today's video I'm gonna share with you my, my experience in the Harbour Club by uh, Jeremy Harbour. I went to Mallorca, I think it was wow, uh, two or maybe three years ago now, I can't even remember. Um, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts, how it was, what I learned, kind of like key lessons um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, remember, if you didn't yet, subscribe to the channel below. Um, this channel is all about buying businesses, growing businesses and yeah, I promise you, you won't regret it. So hit the subscribe and notification button now. So to begin with, uh, my experience overall was amazing. I mean, first of all, just staying in, uh, in Mallorca with, in the villa, I think, uh, I think I went in November and the weather was just amazing. There's sun, um, you wake up and I, I think I was a bit lucky that I, I got to be there early. So I got, I, I got the best room. I had like the, the top room, like literally the VIP room. I woke up every day watching the, the ocean, um, amazing, amazing experience to just stay there for, for I think what yeah, just the weekend, just like one night or so, or uh, maybe I stayed for two nights. It could, uh, I think if I remember right, like uh, for, forget about it. Anyway, um, amazing experience. Um, Jeremy is just a great, great guy. He's a funny guy. He got lots of stories. We had a lot of options to meet him even outside the the actual seminar. So it's basically him um, doing a lecture on, on the topics for like two days. But then we had lots of opportunities to just eat lunch together. We went to the, I guess, um, to the city and, and had a few beers as well. And that was fun too. I mean, I think overall, just by being around a person who's doing this day to day for a living, no matter what stage you're at, I think you can always go and learn new things. And just the fact that you, I mean, in the end of the day, buying businesses is a simple process. It's not easy, but I think just understanding the perspective of someone else, seeing just different new, uh, new nuances. I mean, you can learn so much by being around someone like that. Who, I mean, he's been doing it for many, many years now, and he's been turning around mostly a lot of companies. Now he's focused on big, big projects, which I'm, I'm, I'm excited about for him, and just I want to be involved in something like that as well in the future. And even at this stage, we're trying to send him a few deals to his roll up. So he's basically bringing companies together right now and taking them public, which is, I think, amazing and just a, a great tick to put in your in your CV to say that, hey, I, I took a company public. So I think that and uh, when I went there, I think mostly uh, I'm not sure what's going on right now, but when I went there, the weekend was mostly about um, turning around these trust companies. I think now, from what I understand, Jeremy is mostly focused about doing those roll ups just because there was much more opportunities there. And I think it's just um, probably more fun to just say, hey, I'm, I'm running this um, multi, I don't know, billion dollar company eventually. That's, I'm not sure what he's trying to create there. So, so yeah, in this video, I'm going to share with you some of my key lessons, things that I, I guess, got from my perspective back then and obviously things that I'm even using until now. Um, I think obviously if you want to sh learn everything and all that, obviously go to the event. I think no matter what stage you at, I think it's a great experience. I think in my opinion, um, you need to learn from as many people as possible. And as you probably know, I learned from pretty much anyone out there who's even mentioning the fact that he can help me buy businesses. So I probably work with everyone out there. I think it's amazing to just be involved with that community and just people who can teach you those new topics. So by all means, if you want to learn the full, um, I guess, uh, topics, like everything on, on that subject, go to the event. But I'll share with you just a few key things that I got from the, from the event. So to begin with, I think that a sentence that I got from Jeremy is that probably the first time I heard it from him, just saying that he he started a telecom company, if I'm, if I'm right, when he when he started with business. And then he had his first acquisition of another similar company. And what he said that he learned that he can pretty much grow by years worth of sales in an afternoon. Like you can buy a million, you can have an existing million dollar business, buy a second million dollar business in a, like you can meet them on a Sunday and and close that deal next week and you can literally by the on, on the moment you sign that deal you just doubled your business and you now have two million dollar business so it's really hard to achieve those results if you just focus on internal growth by sales and marketing um, so I think just even listening to that for just that sentence alone for the first time is like yeah he's right it's pretty amazing to be able to grow by years worth of sales in an afternoon most of the event was basically his process from how to find deals how to then negotiate on closing on deals and then how to turn them around. He talked a lot about his case studies and deals that he went through, how he find those deals, how he, uh, I guess, worked to turn them around and what's happened with those deals. I really like the fact that Jeremy, uh, at least back then, didn't do 
any deal when you need to raise capital. So he pretty much went to distressed businesses and he, he's just such a great person, I think. That's why he had really, I don't wanna say easy time to close those deals, but he got many, many deals for just one pound down, one dollar down, or one pound, wherever he bought the business from, right? Um, but just by that, I think it's, it's first of all amazing to be able to build rapport with so many businesses, to be will to be able to get equity in those deals for free. I did a few of those deals later down the road when I got equity just for bringing myself to the table and adding value. Um, but I think it's really opened my eyes back then, seeing that he's buying companies and he's not even raising any capital to buy them. Obviously, there are not huge profitable companies, but it doesn't matter. You can turn them around and make them from a business doing one million in sales and barely. Uh, I guess breaking even to a business doing 100 or 200,000 in net profit literally within a few months just by changing different things in the day to day operation. I really remember the fact that he didn't like brokers at all. Like nowadays, we with our company, we work with brokers a lot actually. Uh, but he, as far as I remember, all of his deals didn't come from brokers but from his network, or just people who know him, who know people. And I think it just a great reminder to always put yourself out there those are the best deals like literally deals that are not listed with brokers those are the best best deals out there just because you have no competition you're literally there with yourself selling yourself to the owner but you don't have anyone competing on those deals i think it's it's really opened my eyes to the idea that most people out there who want to get into this space they're just on, automatically focused on brokers and don't get me wrong you can get awesome deals with brokers but just by the fact that brokers are getting paid sometimes just on a monthly retainer to get to the seller a premium price on his business, I think it just there's something that isn't right there by the fact that most of those brokers are making more money from retainers than by actually selling the business. And by understanding that, you can now figure out why the best deals out there are not listed with the broker. And those are basically deals that are, are just you with yourself competing and talking to that owner and convincing him that you are the best opportunity for that business. I think another key quote that I got from him, from Jeremy, uh, is that you only make real money when you sell the business. And because, because in, the, in the end of the day, when you run a business, yes, you can take an income, you can take dividends and, and, and all that. Uh, and obviously, if you buy a company and you raise capital, you can take some money at closing as well by, by the capital that you raise. But your large chunks of a, a capital events, as he called them, is only when you sell those businesses. So if you want to grow your wealth rapidly, you want to have equity in as many transactions as possible. And obviously, you have as many exit, uh, I guess, opportunities as you can. Another really key thing that I liked about Jeremy is just his lifestyle and attitude about life and the fact that he can't even think about running those businesses day to day. So he's always thinking, who can I have in the business to run that business for me? And obviously, um, sometimes the owner will stay. Sometimes he's just looking at the number two in that business to run that business. Sometimes it can just be literally just a CFO of that business who many times know everything about that business to run those businesses for him so he can live his lifestyle. And I remember him saying, like, I can't forget that, that he's basically saying, hey, I'm, I have a goal or something. Obviously, those are my words, but he had a goal of working like two hours a day. And as long as he's doing that, he's good. He feel like he did his thing for today and he can continue. So I think it's really, really, it's the first time that I really, I guess, had that mindset uh, shift of seeing, hey, someone who's doing it day to day and really living that lifestyle, just chill, relax. He's obviously, sometimes he has his ups and downs with the intensity of work, especially in the deal-making world. I mean, the ups and downs is just insane. You can have many weeks with no deals you're working on and then literally in, in a matter of week, you can work on two deals or three at the same time and then you just need to be there 24 seven. So. I think as long as you understand that, it's all good. But I think for me, when I remember Jeremy, I was just like, these guys live in the coolest lifestyle ever. You have the attitude and the vibe that I want to have when I hopefully um, build that to myself. And I remember it opened my eyes to, to what's possible and to just the vibe that I want to, I guess, have in myself when I, when I do this. So yeah, the event is basically all about how to think like a shareholder versus someone who's operating the business day to day. Obviously, he talked about all the steps, how to source deals. I remember Jeremy really liked the idea of sending letters, how to then negotiate deals. Uh, Jeremy really opened my eyes to the fact that when you have a meeting with the owner, you want to be on his side of the table. It's basically creating win-win scenarios on, hey, let's look at the business and see how we can make it a win-win for everyone. 
Jeremy really emphasized the fact that we all have in our phone book probably more deal flow than we know we have. And just the fact that you can go and call people that you know that didn't talk to for a while and just go grab some coffee with them and tell them what you're doing. I'll tell them, hey, I'm, I'm in this space right now, I'm buying businesses. And I'd love to know if you know someone who potentially needed an investment or would want to sell his business. And that alone will open your eyes. And with sending letters, he's all about finding businesses with bad credit and send them letters. Um, I think it's, it's a great attitude. We're still sending letters every day now uh, and it's working amazingly well. I really like the, the idea of creating a meeting with the owner. And it, so, so basically the way that Jeremy is, is teaching it is, hey, um, when you get to a point where you negotiate on a deal and there's like too much back, back and forth, what you're telling is like, let's have a meeting on Friday and let's decide, as long as we both want to do the deal, let's decide that we're both sitting in the office until we close the deal or we don't even talk anymore. So it's like, it's like burning the boat, let's do it or not. And it's like, just the fact that you making the decision with the seller of the business that, we're doing this deal or I'm not coming back to you anymore. I think that scarcity, that time limit is just really, really good close deals. And I think I remember listening to it in the first time and I'm like, that's really, really cool idea just to tell him, hey, look, I'm coming to your office. We're going to sit there. We're going to order food if needed. We'll be there all day long. And then we're going to make a decision. We either do this deal or we never talk anymore. And, and, and yeah, even with Jeremy, um, obviously some of the things he... He talked about, I didn't hear for the first time, but I think many times, even if you heard things in the past, but just listening to them again from someone with authority can really change your attitude. And obviously he mentioned all the fact that, hey, this is numbers game, except the fact that it's going to take time, that you'll get no's, lots of no's, uh, but be okay with that. That's part of the process. That's part of doing deals. That's part of life. Life is numbers game. And as long as you accept that, you'll be good to go. Another really cool thing I got from Jeremy is the fact that you can do what he called a paper merger. So basically bringing few companies together, in, 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 like basically you go to different companies who ideally have some kind of synergies and cross selling opportunities. Let's say you bring in a marketing agency who's doing paper click, you're doing, you bring in a marketing agency that's doing SEO, you're bringing a web design, they all have similar clients and, um, and different services to have nice synergy with, between them. And then you don't even need to buy them. You just put them on a paper as one company with consolidated accounts and you can go and sell that company to someone else. The way you make money from it is you either take equity from the whole group or you can tell to those business owners, hey, I'll buy you at, let's say, uh, three times multiples your pre-tax profit. And you take that everything on a paper. Obviously, you, you get agreement with each of those companies. I buy you for three times, I buy you for three times, you for three times, you put them all on a paper and then you go and find a buyer that will buy this whole operation for let's say five times or six, six times multiples, right? And you can basically make that difference in, that, in those numbers and make a lot, a lot of money from it. I was really close to do two deals like that uh, that fell down in the last moment, but I'm sure I'm gonna do those in the future. I really, really like it. Just the fact that you can uh, be a deal maker and buy and sell businesses without ever even being in that business or even owning that business officially, which is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, now I wanna share a few things that I really liked that I got from Jeremy that I'm still using nowadays on how to turn around companies. And first of all, just the overall idea that understanding business is just a business, it's just making sure more money coming in than money going out and just making more money and saving more money and get to a point where you have more profit. That's business, obviously, in a, in a very simple way. But just when you understand business like that in a very rational way and you're not emotional about that business, you can make the right decisions and really make big, big changes in the business. So one thing I really liked is the fact that when you buy a business, you can basically call, and obviously I'm talking distressed businesses mostly, businesses that really need cash flow like, like oxygen, right? So you can go to those businesses and basically call all the suppliers as soon as you bought them they bought that business and tell them, hey, look, I just bought this business. I need time to settle, figure out what's going on. So we won't be able to pay you for X amount of days. Obviously, decide with yourself what, what you need in, in regards to cash flow. And that alone, like literally just waiting a few weeks or ideally um, one, two, three months maybe of paying to your suppliers can bring you so much uh, uh, relaxation with the cash that you can work with then to then go on and revive the business. And you can get to nice agreements with suppliers to potentially pay less just by the fact that you're a new business owner and you need to come to different agreements with those suppliers. So that alone can, can save a business sometimes. 
or another thing is just to stop advertising costs. So for example, a business that doing, let's say, 1 million sales can have a nice amount of capital each month spent on new advertising platforms. So just by saving those costs and working with all of your marketing and sales team to sell to your existing clients or your existing prospect can, first of all, save you a lot of money and just bring you so much cash to the bottom line because when you're selling to existing clients, you don't have the cost of bringing them again, which is really, really high cost when you're trying to bring in new clients from cold. And when you go and just focus on your existing prospects, existing clients, it's all going down to your bottom line. And again, you have lots of cash to work with and you just can, I guess, work in your business in a very comfortable way. And again, all those things to turn around companies are really, I guess, simple, small things, but they can make all the diff all the difference. Like even just by the fact that you can raise the, the price of your products or services by like 5% will bring so much more on your bottom line and your profit that again, those differences can many times make the difference between a business that's existing and making money versus a business that's almost about to shut down. Like literally just the different changes. Jeremy also talked a little bit about uh, just building wealth in general and the fact that you want to track your net worth on uh, some kind of a sheet. And I think just personally, it really helped me. And just by the fact that you track it, whatever you track, whatever you measure, get improved. And I think that alone is worth it. Just literally write everything you own, everything you owe and track those things on a weekly or monthly basis and figure out, hey, what's going on? Am I improving? Am I growing? And just by you tracking that thing will, will help you improve. Because with building wealth, it's all about building assets. And when you track those things and you figure out, hey, do I actually buy assets? Am I growing in that area? Or am I just buying liabilities that are doing nothing good to me? So yeah, obviously there's only so much I can recall and, and talk about the event. Overall, amazing experience, amazing location. Um, if you have that option, definitely go there. I think you should learn from as many people as possible. I think it's a great, weekend that you can go I, I literally saw it like as a cool vacation i enjoyed every second of it the learning experience the the just hanging out with cool people there just hanging out with jeremy drinking a few beers um, i loved it and i uh, highly suggest it to everyone um, i hope you enjoyed this review and yeah if you like this type of content subscribe comment below let me know what you think and um, i'll see you soon